Now the next question is, if a sequence Sn is defined by Sn equals S upon 1 plus Sn minus 1, where S is greater than 0, S1 is greater than 0, and N is greater than or equal to 2, then show that the sequence converges to a positive root of the equation x square plus x minus s equals 0. Now, if s is greater than 0 and s1 is greater than 0, then any sn will be greater than 0. Now, 1 plus sn minus 1 will be greater than 1. Then we can write 1 upon 1 plus sn minus 1 will be less than 1. And if we multiply it with s, we can write s upon 1 plus sn minus 1 will be less than s. So any sn will be greater than 0 but less than s. That means this sequence, it is a bounded sequence. Now we'll prove that the sequence is a monotone sequence. Now what we'll do is we'll find sn minus sn minus 2. Now this one will be s upon 1 plus sn minus 1 minus s upon 1 plus s n minus 3. Now we can write this as s plus s into sn minus 3 minus s minus s into s n minus 1 upon 1 plus s n minus 1 into 1 plus s n minus 3. Now this s and s will cancel. So we can write s n minus s n minus 2 will be equal to s into s n minus 3 minus s n minus 1 upon 1 plus s n minus 1 into 1 plus s n minus 3. Now we can write this as minus s and then s n minus 1 minus s n minus 3 upon 1 plus s n minus 1 1 plus s n minus 3. Now if we simplify s n minus 1 minus s n minus 3 we will get s square s n minus 2 minus s n minus 4 upon 1 plus s n minus 1 1 plus s n minus 3 1 plus s n minus 2 into 1 plus s n minus 4. Now if we look at this result s n minus s n minus 2 then if this is positive it will also be positive in the same way s n minus 4 s n minus 6 it will also be positive then in that case the sequence s n minus s n minus 2 will be greater than 0 that is s n will be greater than s n minus 2 will be greater than s n minus 4 the sequence will be monotonic increasing sequence and if this expression is negative then all the terms in the series they will be negative so in that case s n minus s n minus 2 will be less than 0 that means s n will be less than s n minus 2 then in that case this sequence will be monotonic decreasing sequence now if we look at the sequence of other terms which is s n minus 1 and s n minus 3 there is this minus sign so that means this s n minus 1 minus s n minus 3 it will be negative when s n minus s n minus 2 it is positive so in that case it will be negative that means s n minus 1 will be less than s n minus 3 in that case the sequence will be monotonic decreasing 
and for the second case when this value is negative then s n minus 1 minus s n minus 3 will be greater than 0 that is s n minus 1 will be greater than s n minus 3 then the sequence will be monotonic increasing sequence the two subsequences subsequences of odd terms and even terms they will both be monotonic and if sequence of odd is increasing then sequence of even will be decreasing or if the sequence of odd is decreasing then the sequence of even will be an increasing sequence so we have proved that the sequence is bounded and the two subsequences of odd and even terms they are monotone sequences so if the sequence is bounded and monotone then both the subsequences they are convergent sequences now suppose sequence of odd it converges to l1 and sequence of even it converges to l2 then from this condition we can write l1 equals s upon 1 plus l2 if n is odd and l b l2 s upon 1 plus l1 if n is even now we compare these two we get l1 plus l1 l2 will be equal to l2 plus l1 l2 now l1 l2 will cancel so we'll get l1 is equal to l2 so both the subsequences subsequence of odd terms and subsequence of even terms they'll converge to the same limit say l then the sequence will converge to this limit l and we can write this l equals s upon 1 plus l that is l square plus l minus s equals 0 so this limit point of the sequence say l it is a positive root of this equation x square plus x minus s equals 0 and this is what we need to prove